Today's video is dedicated entirely to figuring out if the Panasonic GH5 with the Metabone Speed Booster and Sigma 1835 Art works on the Zion Crane and whether or not it works well. Let's figure it out together. I'm gonna be removing the eye cup because that's what I did with the GH4 and it helped a lot. Bolt screw, lock nut thing. I'm gonna be trying it here on the middle track. I'm sorry, I'm walking on the No, it's track. totally fine. So I managed to get this bolt into the middle track here. So make sure you get it out. Make sure you get it in the middle track. I have this axis all the way down. This one bounced in the middle. This guy down here, I have him pulled all the way back. This is actually bounced like better than the GH4, I think, which is weird. But I think it's because the body is heavier than the GH4, so it's a little bit of counterweight against the lens. Let's fire this baby up. It's holding nicely. With the GH4, like I mentioned in that video, it worked best when I had the crane in follow mode, which is just a little double tap of your joystick. I wanna test this little control cable, this little guy. I wanna see if it works with the GH5 for start, stop, record, and focus. Put it in autofocus. Okay, the cable does work for autofocus. I will tap it to start recording, and it's working. Now I'll tap it to stop. Okay, the control cable works perfectly with the GH5. I'm gonna go walk around this park. I'm gonna walk around downtown Lawrence, Kansas. I'm gonna get some test footage, and then I'll come back with the results. Okay, so what are my final thoughts? I think it might be a little better than the GH4. My crane's still working perfectly fine and I've used the GH4 with this lens on it a lot. Comment below, let me know what you guys think of this setup. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Give me a thumbs up if you don't like this video. Subscribe. Thank you for watching guys, I appreciate it.